back. We're so close. We're about five weeks away. Tonight we have the Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio. Uh, hello, everybody. Good evening. Thanks for you know clicking on the video. Um, honestly, there's not a lot of takeaways that you can do. You know, predictions, analysis for. Uh, preseason games like preseason games have no indication on the season as a whole what i wanted to do a little bit of a segment was just some players that stood out and some guys that because right now rosters are at 90 plus but they got to get that down to around 60 including the practice squad players even though there's only 53 man rosters and so you know for the games because you know us as nfl fans were starving for a little bit of football i thought for you know every single preseason game that I watch I do that like hey this guy's pretty good he might make the 53 this guy's pretty good he might make the 53 all right so here are my players that stood out for the game in my own personal opinion uh let's start with the Jets first I think that number 25 you know he had the touchdown Israel Abanaconda like he is definitely gonna be there in the backfield with hopefully maybe Dalvin Cook if they can get that situated um, and Travis Dye, like I really wish Travis Dye had a better game tonight. I could definitely see Rodgers handing it off to him. Malik Taylor, he led um, the Jets in receiving yards, so he definitely probably put himself higher to try to get a spot in the wide receiver room. Chas Surratt, he had an interception, so yeah, he was the standout defensive player. He had a few good plays. Um, for the Browns on their defense, uh, there's a dude from the Utah Utes. I watched him a little bit when they played the Sun Devils, but uh, the Abante, and then also, it felt like number 92 Camara was there for every single play that was in the box. John Kelly, his rushing attack was really solid. Watkins being a receiver from the USFL to transition into the NFL, like it's pretty awesome, just like PJ Walker and some other stars who have been able to do that. So that's pretty cool. And then at the very end, number 36, Bolden, he had the interception for the Browns. And then, how could you forget it? I think tonight belonged to him, which he was a player that I was really looking forward to because I've been a big fan of Dorian since, oh gosh, uh, probably the 2020 season when they only got to play like six games. He played pretty well in like the three, four games that he got to play in 2020. But I've known him since then. Um, but, uh, yeah, Dorian Thompson Robinson, he came out like there was a lull and Cleveland was not getting anything going, but then he helped. He strung a few plays together to make that long drive happen that ended in a touchdown, but then also just, he was a spark, he a bolt of electricity for the Browns that ended up helping them in the comeback where they eventually won 22 to 16. And so, you know, I, my personal humble opinion after, again, this is an overreaction just because of. It's one game, okay? You can't make a player's career off of one game. I'd have, right now, Watson at the one, and then DTR at the two, you know, if Watson's underperforming or something, just because DTR seemed like he had it. But then again, he's going against dudes that are also rookies and second and third stringers, so that's what it was. NFL's back, baby. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.